back everybody, Beardy Griller. Today we're going to try something a little different. I know you've all probably heard of it, I believe it's from Minnesota, it's called the Juicy Lucy Stuffed Cheeseburger. We're not just going to you know, make a stuffed cheeseburger. I've already got one made here, I got some 85-15 Angus Prime, cut it up into thirds, third pound pieces. We're going to make three burgers, we're going to stuff it with some Bavardi cheese, some garlic murder jack, and then we're going to sous vide them for two hours at 135 degrees. And then we're going to put a wicked sear on these guys and build a badass burger. So check it out. I use a little wax paper. Kind of makes it easier to move them around. Pat them out. Make sure you put your seams together as they pat out. We're going to take one piece of Bavardi. And the easiest way i found doing this is basically just to take the corners, fold them into the middle like this make what looks like a little sort of package. Set that right in the middle there. Take a piece of our garlic and herb jack. This stuff smells just out of this world. I think it's going to put a little extra kick in this burger. And I'm going to offset that corner. Work this off the wax paper here. And fold. You want to try and make sure that your burger stays a little bit bigger. So that way it doesn't just shrink up your bun. And like I said, we're using an 85-15 today instead of an 80-20 because we're going to sous vide. And by cooking these at 135 degrees for two hours, we're going to successfully pasteurize this ground beef. And we're able to eat it at a medium rare without worrying about making anybody sick. I suggest everybody does their own homework for their own preference on that as far as meat preparation is concerned, but that's what I'm going to do and I know it works. Do that one more time for you guys at home. JB steak rub. It's nice and savory. It's got just a touch of heat to it. I think it's going to make these burgers really pop. Alright. I'm going to get these vacuum packed. I'll see you guys when it's time to drop them in the sous vide. Alright. As you can see, we've got our juicy Lucy's all vacuum packy packy. Give them a little dip in the pool coolest thing about this, I don't have to do anything for two hours, except maybe drink a few beers. I'll see you guys after a bit. Alright, got our burgers out. It's been two hours. Patted them dry with a paper towel. You can see they look kind of anemic. Thanks to my buddy, uh, Root Boy Cooks. Been using some of this high temp Sang stir fry oil really like it. Got this pan as you can see it's just smoking hot. We're going to drop these in. Probably about oh, a minute aside or so just to get a nice good sear on them. Get that out of the way. Oh yeah. Give them about a half turn part way through. Make sure we got the outside as well as we got the inside. Got, got some great color on them. Just wait another minute and a half. We'll pull them off. All right, the moment we've all been waiting for. It's been two long hours. We got a wicked nice sear on these uh, Juicy Lucy's right here. Went ahead and toasted off some onion buns. Let's start building. Got a little sriracha mayo. I'm gonna line the bottom of our bun with here. Kick. Some nice white onion sliced up here. Somehow in the process of uh, going to the store today and everything else, I seem to have forgotten the lettuce, which I'm not overly worried about. That looks good right there. I pick you to be my special friend. This was some nice ripe tomato. Bacon. A little 
ketchup. Notice we got it all the way done. No blowouts on any of them. Let's see what that cheese inside looks like. Dun, da, da. Oh yeah. Look at that. Just spewing juice out. Nice, perfect, medium, rare, almost hardly any gradient around it. Cheese starting to spill out. Mmm. <laughs> that Lucy sure is juicy. Hope you guys get a chance to try one of these. See you next time. Beer to Griller. Ugh.